welcome to war. And Jackie, what have you got lined up for us on this show? We have got a super show. I've got Iron Fist, the world arm wrestling champion, and karate expert, and martial arts. We have two tags, and in one of those tags, we've got the fabulous Gibb Brothers. Oh, the Gibb Brothers, they are definitely the heartthrobs. And I know they're causing quite a stir amongst you lady fans out there. Well, let's get down to the ring and see them. Welcome to war, a new era of wrestling. My name is Sarah, and I will be here to present to you this spectacular new series. So without further ado, let me introduce you to your master of ceremonies for this evening, Mr. George Saunders. Ladies and gentlemen, World Alliance Wrestling is war. Coming in now to the red corner, your welcome please for young Apollo. Brett Sinclair with you again, wrestling fans, and Jackie Mr. TV Palo alongside. Good welcome evening. again, Jackie. Good evening, dear. I understand you've got some great action again lined up for us tonight. We have, we have. You've seen this lad before, but he is terrific. This is young Apollo. Yeah. He's another boy that's got a great future. He's a nice guy. He's shaking hands with the referee. You don't see that these days. I don't think this guy will ever shake hands with the referee. I Mega don't... Mouth Vincent. I doubt whether if the referee would want to shake hands with him. He's coming out with Sledgehammer. It looks like they've actually got rid of the Iceman, as we saw. Coming in on a one-to-one -one match with Young Apollo. Powerful boy, though. I wonder why these guys all get themselves tattooed up. Bouncer, he's always bouncing about. Is he directing the film crew again? Yeah. Well, let's see how Sledgehammer goes just on his own without his tag partner. Oh, that's right, they sacked him, didn't they? <laughs> yes, indeed. I think they'll be a replacement along very shortly. They do do some talking, these two, don't they? They tell the referee, the cameras, what they want done. No one takes any notice. But... Oh, nice. Nice arm, Straight arm. Yeah. Follow. Straight arm. Up and a wrist lock out. Leg snatch. Yeah. Such so actually seems to be putting some wrestling holes on for a change. Yeah. Oh, just as so I say that, he rakes him in the eyes. Spoke too soon. I've seen him wrestle. He can wrestle. Yeah, but he tends to go for the more barbaric tactics. There yeah. we are, the back elbows. Well, that knocks him out. 
quicker, doesn't it? It tires the man very quickly. Close line to the chest. If you've got powerful arms, you might as well use them. Oh, good leg snap by Apollo. No. I know the crowd want him to, but it's just not done. Did someone knock Mega Mouth Vincent's hat off or did it fall off? I hope someone knocked it off. It is, the camera's missed it. Leg stretch. Oh! I think the hammer's too keen on that move. See, drag him up. Fist to the stomach. It knees to the head there. Sledgehammer, I believe, is the weightlifting champion at his weight of yeah. Southern England. Really? Yeah, powerlifting champion. Ah. Powerful boy. You can see why he just threw Apollo back in one hand. That drags him out again like a rag doll. Well, they agreed to go in with these men. Yeah. Well, he's a tough competitor, Apollo. Just yeah. the competition, just too good. That was just the manager's foot. He set very high standards for war competitors, Jackie. Yeah. I want to see more wrestling come into it. Oh. Bruce didn't throw out for a while, but... Oh, fist again. So Dan was not having it all his own way in this contest. No, he's not. Now he's choking him over the ropes. Yeah. Company's here. He's a mega mouth. What is he up to? Catapult him back off those ropes. Side headlock there, that's the show. Yeah. So the fingers across the eyes, actually. Not in the eyes, across the eyes. Backdrop. Kick, kick him with the heel. He's still well on top of that camera in this contest. Well. Have to go outside for a break. So Apollo's gone after him. Slam, Mega Mouth Vincent won't like that at all. Oh, Put him in the face. <laughs> head butty, Mega Mouth Vincent. I like it. Oh, Teach him to keep interfering. Oh, never, never go for something and and leave and leave it. He left himself open for the kick, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. If you're gonna take it, take it. If you hesitate, you come unstuck. Slams him into the corner post. And again. Oh, what's his power oh. slam? That's a power slam. Jars the body. He's got a pin in there, Sledgehammer. He seems to be making him no, suffer a little. Oh, Boston, oh, Boston. Crab. <laughs> I think that's it. Yes. Don't get out of yes. the Boston Crab, particularly if Sledgehammer puts it on. A lot of power in the upper body. He doesn't want to no, he should, it either. He should pull him off, though. I mean, the man submitted. He should have pulled him off. Well, he's just making sure he doesn't want to come back in there with him. Sledgehammer's got his eye on that gold belt as well. See, with American rules, you can't disqualify him for that. No. Do the slow motion now, the power of that boss and crab. There he sits right back and puts tension on the back and the knee joints. Virtually impossible to get out from. Oh, a good elbow.
Trying to drag uh, him up with a stead chancery. Drag him from the floor. Uh, he's even got time to insult the audience. The audience. Knows. Very confident, this guy. Oh, he was so confident then. He hit, he hit a stone wall. Good body check with a man, Monks. Yeah, Taking him wind out of Dino. Powerful man. Oh, that's a terrific right elbow. I felt that from here. You know, it's equivalent to right hook. Oh. Oh, that was definitely low. Oh, that was definitely out of order. Well, Scarlo's in there to win. He doesn't yeah. care how. The referee never see that. The monk's complaining. Mind you, he got up a bit quick after it, didn't he? Hard oh, man. Very hard man. That Scarlo's tenacious. He's up to something, Scarlo. He doesn't he's normally give so Yeah, he's trying to do... He's trying to get him in a position. Wrist well, lock with a mad monk. Yeah. He put, he's putting himself in a position to get something. I don't know what it is. Rolling oh. about a lot, Yeah, he's, he's after something. What's he after? Nice flip. Oh, a back chop. Oh. Didn't quite get it in. Got the elbow in. He takes and put him down this man, doesn't, doesn't he? he? Oh, he got wind. That got him down. That certainly got him down. Yeah. Kick to the chest. What's he doing? Scarlet. He's going off the top middle rope onto his headbutt. Flying headbutt for Scarlet. He's the only boy I know that does that. Very good. Very effective. He wouldn't get me doing it. Wallop. Oh. Oh. He's certainly putting those kicks in. Ah. Got him. He must. It's a leg stretch there, Jackie, against the tendons. Yes. Pressure on that can, can be pretty dreadful at times. If he's got it right, if he's got it on right, that is painful. Uh, he's slowing Scarlo down yeah. somewhat. He's on the, onto the cartridge. I think he did him with a right hit oh, right on the nose. Headbutt. Oh! Well, he says he's a street fighter, this Scarlo. Yeah, he says it um, to the street level. It. Yeah. Funny, he's a different chap out of the ring, isn't he? What's he said? Yeah. He declares war in the ring. You go for the suplex. suplex. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh! Wow. Didn't quite get him up. Too heavy, you see. Oh! Them elbows. Oh, Scarlo oh. landing well on his head and oh. knocked many men out. Headbutts. I think that certainly dazed the monk. Yeah. That suplex and head drop, that certainly stunned him. Certainly different. Oh. Left himself over to something, you know. Looks like he's setting him up for a posting. Reverse upside down posting by the monk. Unorthodox, but very effective. Yeah. Dragging him up off the floor. That man is ruthless, isn't he? Yeah, well, he's, you know, he, oh, he's in the wind. Stands his head into the mat. Again. This monk is taking an incredible amount of punishment and still coming back. Body check. Good body check, he was high. Slam, can he pick Power him up? Slam. Oh. Good he power slam. He can't quite get him up. He's going up on the ropes again. A lot of weight he's trying to lift there. He's got to do it quick. It's a monkey getting out. Oh, he slipped. He's fell on the rope. Oh, he's fell on the own rope there. Look, he's done it himself. He will not oh, be a happy man. man. No way. That's really going to get pulled him aggravation. Yes. Does he want to hear the crowd taunting him now? His ego was shattered there, wasn't it? Still seems to be on top, though. Yeah, he's still taking command of this, isn't he? He's doing it again. Oh, oh, good flying double shot. And cover. And cover. Two. Yes, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Scarlo the winner. Good win. He seemed to be on top for most of that bout, yeah. Jackie. Yeah, he, he commanded all the bout. Tonight, I present to war the mad dog. The question is not whether he shall win, but how long can his opponents go to distance. Very soon round his waist he'll be wearing a world title belt. 
This is under my constant and personal supervision and well beside anyone that gets in our way. He is very confident, isn't he, Bradley? Very confident. He brainwashes his fighters to be confident, which is, in a way is a good thing. But he has got some incredible men on yeah. his table. Mind you, he does interfere a lot, this man, doesn't he? Yeah, that attracts some other wrestlers. Boy Gibbs. A young, good-looking kid, isn't he? Yeah, female fans really like this guy. They don't like Dave Jaws, do they? Who does? See what this boy can offer, eh? Oh, he's back to the bands. He just left him. He's going in talking already. That, that's going to work the boy up. He's still talking about yeah. Dave George. Won't Referee get on with the contest. Stop this. He is good. Have they got the MC now? Oh, fist straight on the nose. Cut elbow by the mad dog, Dave George. Have a, have a poke, as you say, yeah. They're interfering all around him, Bradley. Yeah. Oh, the boys come back. Yeah, he come back with an headbutt. Caught him just low in the stomach. That certainly slowed George down. Yeah. Mind you, might be foxing. He might be just stalling for time. Get the kid off balance. Physically and mentally, not, you know. Look around the auditorium, I see oh. a lot of girl fans of Boy Gibbs. Elbows to the back of the neck. Head. Done him again. Oh, nice leg lock. Try and get the other one, Sam. Try and get the other one. Get a f no, he's come out. Ah! ah. Leg, leg jerk, snatch. Jackie, was it? Leg snatch. snatch. Yeah, good leg snatch. Was that a fist to the stomach there? Yeah. Elbow. Yeah. See, she, this is American rules, so you can go pick him up off the floor. Oh. Tempted wrist up by Gibbs. What is it? Oh, he's going to the oh. manager again. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Paul I Dave like it. Out of the ring. <laughs> is he furious? His own manager pulled him out of the ring. Oh, yes, I like that. One of the best things PJ Bradley's ever done. <laughs> the fans really appreciate that jacket. Yeah, they did. I did. <laughs> Don't think George did. Oh, good kick. He kicked the butt at the middle rope while George was sitting on it. They never put one leg over the rope, should they? No. Dragged him into the ring by Gibbs. Oh, finger punch to the stomach. Elbow to the head. Yeah. Got him by the throat now. Very powerful arms George has got. What's he doing? Oh, he's punching him on the nose. Punching his nose there, yeah. Choking at the same time, cutting yeah. the air off. Yeah. Got him, good. Oh! An arm drop. And then reverse arm drop, so the arm... Against, against the, the joint. joint. Very good. Good looking boy, isn't he? Mm. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Well, I think George certainly felt that. I think he tried yes. to put his foot up to stop himself going no, into the turnbuckle and missed. Missed. Oh. Devastating mm -hmm. results. I... Bradley's back in again, look. 
Yeah, you have to keep an eye on that guy. Yeah. He's always interfering in the matches. It's, if it does, if he does keep interfering, I might have to even it up a bit. You're going to go and see him, are you again, Jackie? Yeah. I think he remembers the last time yeah. he had a little confrontation. If I go down there, he might disappear, you see. Let the kid get on, he's doing all right. Doing very well. Just as long as he doesn't get those good looks of his engine, that's all the yeah. fans worried about. Ah, he's 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 holding him. Oh, he moved oh. Galloway, super. Beautiful super. time by Gibbs. <laughs> George sends the manager flying. flying. The crowd love that. Oh, beautiful. Yes, they, they do really enjoy, enjoy that. They enjoy that, don't they? They're screaming for more. Bradley doesn't know what week it is. Oh, he's the... He sacked him. <laughs> Any more of that and you sack. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Both their heads together. Oh, great. I think PJ Bradley's probably wishing he stayed at home. Definitely. Definitely. Well, he certainly seems to be on top now, Gibbs. Yeah, but I think I better go down there and just get in his corner and give him some advice. You're going to go down again, are you? Yeah, I am. You've got, got this sudden protective instinct to these young wrestlers. I think you're going to be after a manager's like, oh, he's gone. <laughs> well, fans, Jackie Palo's on his way to the ringside again. I think it's just this thing about PJ Bradley, just not like the man. Oh, Dave George has spotted him and Jackie's there. And he's told Gibbs to collar him and do a full Nelson and bounce him on the ropes. Now, Bradley's run round to argue with Jackie Palo. There's Jackie Palo ringside, telling Boy Gibbs what to do. Dave George is out the ring. I think he's had enough. Not a happy man, Dave George. Now, what is Dave George doing? What is this, a foreign object he's got here in his hand? The boy gives Friday back into the ring. And there's Bradley interfering again, dragging Gibbs off. Oh, Gibbs hits him. Oh, George kicked him in the stomach. So it's two versus one, it's not allowed. Here comes Jackie Palo again after Bradley. Now, George has suddenly got an armband from nowhere. Now he's really rubbing it into Gibbs' face. Jackie Palo can see it, and obviously the referee didn't see it. What has he got in that armband? He's really rubbing it into Gibbs' eyes now. Jackie Palo trying to call Gibbs over, get his attention. Oh, good drop elbow by Gibbs. Oh, Jackie Palo did again in the ring there. Nearly got the jacket off here, Jackie Palo. I think we could be having a Jackie Palo fight here any second. The fans love it. Fans really want Jackie Palo to go for Dave George. I don't think it'll take a lot to get Mr. TV back in that ring. Oh, body slam, though. Oh, shoulder breaker by Dave George. I think that has knocked out Gibbs. Yes, it's a win for Dave George and PJ Bradley. Yeah, Gibbs very stunned by that. It shows the experience of a ring battler like Mad Dog Dave George.
keeper. This just about says it all from Jackie Palo. The fans agree with him. I think Jackie Palo's now coming back to the commentator's box. Oh, I like that. Now I have one of the managers of the wrestlers, PJ Bradley. Not one of the managers, the manager which is entirely different to what this stupid woman said. Tonight, I bring to your attention one of my exclusive clientele, the super brat, Ken Flash Knight. He's the fastest and he's the meanest son of a bitch in the ring. And tonight, he's going for it all the way. I don't care who you put me on with, they are going down. They are going down. I don't care who. They are going down. Save it for the match. Save it for the match. What a combination that Bradley has, yes. I think that Ken Flash Knight should be kept on a leash or in a cage. Yeah. The young one. Yeah. They're brave guys going up against these two. Well, if you want to get anywhere in this business, you've got to go in with them, haven't you? Yeah. You know, it's, they've got to be one oh, of the top doubtful. tag teams in the world. Yeah. He's keen, this young Wayne. Yeah. Uh, that's on Kramer. Ruthless. Ed Buffer. Straight away there, but Oh, there goes oh, Knight attacking from outside the ring. ring. Big knees, the arm and the chest and the ribs. He's got his arm turned around the rope there, look. Yeah, well, captain, captain in. There's Bradley there waiting. On the well. blind side of the referee. Ooh. Shutter in post. Oh, leg dive. Nice little leg trip there yeah. by the young Craig. And this is this insane man, Flash Knight. Scoops Zoom. him up. Oh, just tossed him into that slam. <coughs> Excuse me. A vicious leg drops. Shot to the throat. Neck across the rope. And she did, oh, and a flip off. Pull him over. Oh. Oh. He should guillotine him back off that rope. Flash Knight dragging him off the ropes now. Back over there again to Kramer. You see, the referee is, is not taking the, any notice. With the two, two being distracted. Yeah, they're being distracted. I think Tank should have two referees. Oh! Superb flat handed chop by Ken Knight. Kramer in again. Bang. Body I'll check. Down goes Cray. There's Bradley looking very confident. With these two in the ring, it's hardly surprising. <gasps> oh! Back drop. I Do think you, that's it. That's that one gone. That's another one for Bradley. These stable wrestlers are really are making an impact of war. Oh, his kids still have him to go. And he's king. Yeah. Every athlete in the world wants to be part of war. They all have you noticed that they all have a go at the at the uh, manager. We can't no one blame seems him to there, like Jackie. him. No, no one seems to like him. The riot squad. This is the much. first move that Ken Knight did. He scooped up young Craig and then just tossed him across the ring. Look. Plonk. Oh. Ooh. Power slam. And this guillotine roof flashes him back off that rope. They'll know they've been in the ring with the riot squad when they get back to the dressing rooms. And the Kramer just covers him. Like him or hate him, it's a great victory for Bradley and the riot squad. Just back in time to see your son. Yes. This always brings back memories, you realise. Was that looking at yourself a yeah. few years ago? Yeah. Well, you trained him. And I say he is your son anyway, yeah. so he's bound to have some of your characteristics. Yeah, he's got quite a few and a lot of his own. There's the lovely Sarah bringing him in.
you said Jackie Palo Jr. and it's up there as JJ. Is the JJ Jackie Jr.? Oh, I see. The JJ. Simple enough. Yeah. The guy that gave him that name was a great, great star of all time. Is Rocky Ricky Star? Oh, the ballet dancer Ricky yes. Star. Yeah. He from gave America. him. He gave him the nickname JJ. JJ is certainly uh, steaming into Mr. Rocky James here. Yeah. What are you doing muck about, Jackie? Good toss from the ropes. Yeah. Oh, nice reversal cool. by James. Oh. Oh, he oh. just got head butted in the mouth. Yeah. Getting to town, the boy, isn't it? He's got those switch reversals into those hammer locks very effectively. Yeah. Interlock fingers there. Oh. That was a chop. Good drop elbow by JJ Palo, and another one. This looks like a... Yeah, slams Rocky James into the turnbuckle. Oh, suplex, oh, suplex. coming by JJ Palo. Oh. Well, superb. Did you teach him that, Jackie? Yeah, uh, to be honest, no. I wasn't one of my... Uh, he, he learned that from a guy called called um, John Foley. Foley. One of the great British wrestlers. Yeah, he ago. was in his day. He was one of the best. If not the best. He was a light man. JJ spent a lot of time wrestling in America, didn't he, for a yes, couple of years? Yes, Now he's back at war. Oh, shattering post, JJ. Monkey nice. climb. Short monkey climb. Yeah. Jackie's learned a lot of American tactics, like dragging them off the floor. <laughs> and and butts. Butts. <laughs> is that why he's a little bit heavier than he normally is? He's put a bit of weight on for America. Basically, yes. He's put a bit of weight on for America. Oh, good power Let's driver by J.J. Pallon. That's it. That's it. Yeah, he went to America, and they're big men out there. Us English people don't realise how big the American guys are. And, you know, ex-pro footballers, ex-pro boxers, they're big, hard, tough, big men. Yes. Mind you, we've got some big guys coming to war. Yes, we have. Well, another win under the belt for J.J. Pallon. This is super watch. Jackie. He does these perfect, Jackie. Grabs oh. the pants. Lifts and drops back. So the, the opponent takes all the weight. Yeah, I understand. Jars the life out of him. Well, that's a slam. That's the one he puts into the, yeah. the power driver. I love the effect of the sound. When it's in slow motion. <laughs> Sounds like lions roaring, doesn't it? Rah, but it's the audience. Oh. Yes. Now this man, Bearcat Brody. Yes. We have an ongoing situation with Johnny Kincaid. He's taking an instant delight to Kincaid. He's certainly making his mark in his war tournaments. Yes. I see the way he's pointing here. I don't think he really likes anybody that much. Prince Martin. Now, that's, he's a big Indian, a mm. big man. And I'm told he makes quite a lot of pictures in America, in uh, India. In India. He does a lot of Indian films. It says he was six foot three and about 320 pounds. Oh, yeah. Monty Brody's one of the heaviest men yeah. so far to come to war. He's wrestled extensively in Canada and America. He has, yeah. He's more interested in the fans at the moment. It's a slightly psychological approach, isn't it? Yes. I, I'm probably one of the first to start all that off, talking to the audience. And that, that was to 
gives you the edge, does it? it makes yeah, you... it, it annoys the opponent. It works him out. He wants to get on to do the fighting, and he, he can't because the other, the opponent, is talking to the audience. Psyching him out, they call yeah. it, don't they? That's called psyching. Let's see if it works on Prince Man Singh. Very experienced wrestler. Oh. Heavyweight shot. champion of India. Headlock, side sharp three. Oh, he threw him off. A good oh. tackle, look. You know, he's a powerful man. Two big man. men slamming. Oh, a lovely cross buttock. Yeah. Side step to his cross buttock. It's called Fair a hip enough. toss in America. In Europe, it's called, it's called a cross buttock. Saw the ring move then, Jackie, when he slammed him into that turnbuckle. Well, there's a lot of weight being thrown into it, isn't there? Terrific right hand, elbow. Very powerful man, this Brody. Big man. Oh! Did you notice how he kicked the arm away so he could land perfect? Yeah, he wanted all the weight onto the throat. Oh. Looks like he's plummeted his man into the ring here. Oh. Those big, powerful elbow drops. Like a hammer and a nail, just banging him straight in. Powerful man. Have you noticed how, how slower the heavyweights are to the lighter men in their movements? Yeah. Oh, oh I see what I mean about the American influence of yeah. uh, Brody there with that clothesline. Flying clothesline, Gordon. Yeah. yeah. Straight arm block, they sometimes call yeah. it in Europe. He's got a hit chance there, and he's pulling him across. Probably on his throat and stopping yeah. his wind. Yeah. And he's holding the inner arm, you see. Throwing him, oh, onto the table. That didn't do a lot of good, did it? Must have caught his back. The yeah, one with the table still in one piece yeah. after that. Oh, he's not letting him back in the ring yeah. either, Brody. That's going to annoy the Indian. Mr. Singh. Oh, Singh's, oh, dragging him out. Both oh, feet. Singh's going to. You want to play rough? We'll play rough. You don't get much rougher than that, do you? Slamming his head into that edge of the ring. No. And again. And into the arms. Oh, and now, oh, holds him into the barrier. Gee. Oh, it's, the weight's all on the, on the punters. Because I realise that the, 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 uh, the barriers are on way round. Yes. This is John Ambulance men are there, the yeah. safety guys. He's taking his time back. The Prince is speeding it up a bit. Takes some strength to hurl someone like Brody in over the top rope. It certainly does, and a post. Oh, the ring moves. That post. Yeah, I know, it certainly Amateur. moves. Look at that monkey climb. Beautiful, oh, man. Beautiful that monkey beautiful. climb there. You know, he's lifting some weight over there, isn't he? Bang. Look, again. Up and over. Oh. Brody's over 350 pounds, and a big monkey climb like that has one fit Mr. Singh. Throwing him off the ropes. See, hit him again with that clothesline, Brody. Yeah. I don't think the Indian's used to that move. No, not at all. No. And done again. again. It's unorthodox, the European style of wrestling, those kind of moves, but they're very effective. Oh, he's tried ah. this too many times oh. now. Oh, he's got the slam in his... Yes, he, him and I think he tried to do the same move Very too many good. times, Very he's good. paid the price. Played the price. Never repeat yourself. Yeah, he got away with it three times. I think Paul was really pushing yeah. it. Good win for Prince Van Singh. Yeah. What's his slow motion? Headbutt. Into the canvas. Oh. This is where he throws him into the iron girl. that barrier. Oh, one-handed, too. One -handed. Very powerful. Oh, hurls, him out. hurls him into it, and that... Look at that. That 
certainly sent him reeling. And here's this marvellous monkey climb by Prince Mansing. Up and over. Look, terrific Look maneuver. at the weight in them legs. Look. Such a bump. big man. Oh, Mighty shutters. He took the bump on his feet a bit there. See, this was that, that fourth attempted clothesline he just missed. Reverses it and jumps across him. I thought Birdie was going to hold him there. Yeah. No, he couldn't. No, he couldn't hold the weight. No. Got the leverage just right. Great fall. Good Great fall. pin. And here we have one of PJ Bradley's real main eventers, Ken Flash Knight. And his opponent, complete the manager, PJ Bradley, in the red corner from Battleton, Ken Black Knight. He's got some hard nuts, has the he? Uh... Bradley. Yeah, he, he tends to go for the really nasty, vicious type of wrestlers. There's no getting away from that fact. But then again, they tend to be the ones that win. Yes. And he hates a loser, does Bradley. This Wayne Martin should really test Flash Knight here. He's a young lad, but he's built well. And he's eager, too. Yes. So is Ken Knight. Snap mare by Ken Knight. I wrestled Knight a couple of times at the end of my career. He does these incredible double-handed chops, chops that really wear his opponents down. Well, he doesn't muck about, he's straight in. This is the new style of wrestling, in, destroy. You know. Boom. Well, no holds barred. Oh. Well, this leaves it open for anything. Yeah. Nice snap mare by Wayne. Yeah. Corner post. Another corner post. Oh, sidekick to the leg. Chop the into the ribs. Yeah, yes. Yeah. He's back again. No, he never leaves. Bradley's always there, always lurking around somewhere. You really have to keep one eye on him, one eye on your Ooh, opponent. Outside. Ken Knight's joined him. Those chops really do land. Oh, he's got him back. Oh, bump onto oh. the iron. Oh, well. Oh, the turn up for the books is slam no. Ken Flash Knight's head into the barrier. Now onto the side of the ring. Elbows to the back. He's throwing him back in. Throwing him into the ring. Ah, Ken Knight's backing off a little oh, here. Oh, I've never seen Ken Knight back off. Unless he's got something in his mind. He did. Yes. Hunts to the stomach. Look at that crack on the barrier. Must have no. slowed him down a lot. Yeah. Chop to the throat. Good chop to the throat. It's a superb chop by Knight. Yeah. Toss to the ropes. And another one. Yeah, those open-handed chops to the throat really knock the wind out of you. It's going to be very dangerous, too. Oh! Oh! He lifted... A press and cover. Is it a pin? No. No, no. Push out by Ken Knight. I think Knight is too experienced for that. Yeah, a little early in the match there. Yeah. Worn him down enough for that. But he, lifted, he lifted him off his feet when he hit him. Did you see that? No, I saw that. Oh, side shot. Kick to the face and head. Vicious kicks by Ken yeah. Knight. What is Bradley up to? He's holding down. It seems to be Ken Flash Knight's trademark. He's going, going down. Mind you, he's normally right. He has had a success of victories. Yeah, he's going after him. <laughs> Following your footsteps, Jackie, chasing the manager. Oh, good head Great butt. Butt. Oh, he's gone out. Straight out. out. He's gone. <laughs> Straight after Bradley. Great stuff. Staring after him around the That's ring. the way, son. Go on. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go down this time. Don't think you need to this time, Jackie. No, no. Bradley's on the run. 
can not oh, out got both in. outside the ring. See, under English rules, he'd be counted out. You're not allowed to go outside the ring, are no, you? No, outside English the rules. ring, you're counted. But he'll go out, fall out, or whatever. He's having a breather, I think, Ken, right there. He's thinking to himself, this boy's not so, so young and simple as he looks. Watch it, son, because you're on the floor. Oh, yeah, just Steve. a little late in putting that elbow in. You mustn't give these timing any time at all to think about it. Slightest chance they're in. I like this camera guy. He's on spot in all the time. And he gets all the action shots. He gets all the close-ups, which we've never had in England. We've never had good close-up shots. Oh, he's dropped on his leg when his foot was on the rope to give him more leverage. Uh, the, the, the English television was always way back. This is close up. I'm very, very I like it very much. Oh, oh! Right hand, fist straight to Ken Nice Jim. Headbutts. Headbutts into the turnbuckle. Got him. More. Oh, oh it's it's session of them. But it, you know, it still hurts. They're trying to tear him in half here. That's called a wishbone. You're allowed to stop, step on the inside of the leg, not on the groin. Then. You get a second at Boston. Oh, Bradley's, Bradley's trying to influence here, pull out, help his man. Pull out his man out, isn't he? Side kick to the leg. Kick to the back. out the ring. See? It's very difficult to concentrate on your opponent and the manager at the same time. Yes. Oh, kick. Oh, oh, vicious kick to the head there by Knight. So here comes these, these double chops, chops. Double chops. They're lethal. Slam. Oh. Slam. Couldn't pick him up. Oh, he's going up. He's yeah, going upstairs, yeah. Ken Flash Knight. Yeah. Onto the top post. Oh, oh lovely. The boy's moved. He's moved. Right onto his knee. Very good. Posting. Posting. Oh, it's kicked to the top of the leg. It stopped you. To... Hello, he's taking the, he's taking the cover off. The, taking off the it off the turnbuckle. Oh, way he's got it. He's straight in the metal turnbuckle. That will have done a lot of damage. Oh, he's gone straight for it. Single oh, leg Boston, Boston crab by Ken Knight. That's that it. must be it. That's it. Yeah. Come on, let go, let go. No, he really likes to inflict yeah. the punishment as Ken Flash Knight. Someone will do it to him one day. Yeah, well, they're going to have to be a lot better, I'm afraid, than young Wayne. He's in there. The manager's in there turning the boy off. Or whatever. Did you hear what that woman said? No. I'm not going to repeat it. No. But it was off, the Ladies last word. I think that took him longer than he expected yes. to beat young Wayne. But there's a few people clapping, you see. He's not disliked by everyone. Now we're into the slow motion sequence. That was tremendous. That was that. bang. He slammed his head into that barrier. Bradley's stepping in to help his man up. Yeah. See, so we he picks him up for the slam. That's a lot of weight. No, he's not going to pick him. He only half picks him up, Rob. And drops him onto his buttock. Well, that's what did the damage yeah, he when he went into up, the, see, to stop it, Joel. Yeah, but he went into that metal turn back. That, that really a cracked the, the rope knee. Onto the, onto the metal. Then straight in. Straight in for like one leggy Boston. Injured body part and straight onto it, Ken Flash. Over he goes, bang. Sits right back. Experience pays there, yeah. Jackie. Never a wrestling spectacular to help Al Monty and Hildred out. <laughs> 